the idea of any American president suborning himself, humiliating himself in front of Vladimir Putin, yep. acting like Putin's towel boy is an astounding betrayal of the fact that this country fought the long twilight struggle against Soviet communism, which at the time was an existential question. Are you gonna pick one of these systems or, or another? And you know, Vladimir Putin has a kleptocracy now that I think Donald Trump finds envy in. He finds himself uh, you know, in love with Kim Jong-un, who, you know, two things about Kim that amaze me. First off, he rolled, he conned the con man so effectively and so humiliatingly and so thoroughly that even now Donald Trump still keeps hoping against hope that something's gonna go his way. Right. But the way that Trump behaves towards dictators and authoritarians, it's not with the contempt or an American president should express for those systems or, or even with the aspirational desire that they should change and become more free. It's envy, it's jealousy. He is an authoritarian status in his heart he loves it, and that's why we, that's why we have things like a, a president who doesn't believe in the rule of law. Does the public care, Rick? At the end of the day, you and I sitting on PBS talking about this, sure. notwithstanding, we each get one vote. I mean, I don't have a preference in this. I'm sort of stated, I'm gonna sort of state, you have a preference, clearly sure. stated. But your vote or my vote is one vote. The public has many more votes than we do, and they seem to like the guy well enough or dislike the alternative enough last time that they voted for him. There is because a, you can't say during the last campaign people didn't know, right? They didn't a, vote for him because they didn't know. They voted for, voted for him despite the fact that they did know. One of the reasons, though, that they turned last time into a binary choice yeah. is because the Republican Party, guys like me, we ran a 30-year war against Hillary Clinton. We basically ran a 30-year campaign to burn her to the ground. Yeah. From the second she stepped on the scene, she was a perfect foil. And he was the beneficiary of that 30-year war. And he inherited that 30-year <clears throat> right. war. And look, if it had been Marco or Jeb or Ted or whomever, same kind of you know, bloodthirsty bash Hillary would have gone on, but he inherited that without believing anything else. So no, look, does the public care? Sadly, I think the spectacle it has become a feature of something that, that his base particularly likes about Trump. And they'll even say it in focus groups. If you really poke him a little bit, they'll say, well, I know he's a liar. Well, I know he's a shit. I know he's a horrible human being. I know he cheats. I know he does this. I know he's, but I like that he burns down the liberals. I like that he, he hates the media just like me. And so that, I, this idea that he's become an avatar of their hate and their social anxieties and all this other stuff, that motivates about 40% of the population. It's important enough that they're willing to look the other way at other stuff. Right, right. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah.